Hello, this is Kevin from kboss2hm.co.uk So tonight I'm going to show you how to move your site from one domain to another domain with the same host. So I'm jumping from, at the moment, the test website on Trust Index and that's moving over to kboss2hm. So Let's see, so that's the old website, this is the new one. So first of all, let's jump into cPanel. Check we're on the right website. And we're going to set everything up first. So let's jump in here, jump into public HTML. Oh, something going to take all these on the old website because I want to clean it so that I can put the, the new website up. I've already took a backup just in case anything goes wrong as well. Let's just simply delete them. Let's reload that, so that's left. Worth mentioning here, this probably won't be selected, so make sure you show hidden dot files. And we'll delete the web config there. Confirm the site, we'll change the permissions. There, and we're going to go up another one. I can change the permissions here. And this is so that we can delete. So there's files, change the permissions there. And let's change the permissions here. And finally, this one will change the permissions. Now let's delete these. And finally, the site. Didn't see the permissions are fine. So let's delete that. There we go. So now let's check the site is gone. Scary thought. And there you can see there's no file showing nothing. So it's completely blank. So that's great. So it's it's ready for this site to move over nearly. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this window and I'm going to jump off the C panel again. And I'm going to jump into MySQL databases. And I'm simply going to delete this user. Delete the database. And then I'm going to move down to the user, should I say. Let's wait for that to catch up. And there you go, that's gone. So the database is gone. 
So now let's also delete the user. Because we don't want this to get mixed up later. There we go, so completely blank and that's now ready to take the the other domain, this one here, over to this one. We're just going to check again file manager just to make sure. Public HTML and yeah, everything's gone. Right. Got to pause the video a second while I jump into my other hosting panel. Hello again, uh, back again. So I uh, took a backup of my whole site. You can see my other videos on how to back your website up and SQL. And I've downloaded them to this folder here, public HTML. So now basically I'm going to take all these files and I'm going to put them up via FTP. So I've signed into my FTP in public HTML on KBoss 2. And now I'm just simply just gonna drop these all in here. Try that again. Put them into here. There we go. And just simply overwrite that. Always use that action. And you'll see the files down here going up. So there's 17,000 files to go across. So um, if you're doing this as well at the same time as me, maybe it's a good time for a coffee now. And I'll resume the video as we get further on. And and we're ready to put the SQL. One thing you could do is um, to back your old um, SQL up while this is in action. It doesn't take long. I've done another video as well showing you how to back up fully and also how to back up your SQL database. But I will see you shortly. So I'm back now and we've got 251 or so files left to go. So let's jump over and do the next part. So because you're bringing the database across as well, I've logged into the right account. I'm going to go to down a bit. Hold on, there we go. So my SQL database wizard and you're going to give yourself a new database a new username and a new password and obviously each time you go next step so I'm going to quickly pause this while I do this Just to quickly show you when you're doing the database, make sure that you click all privileges as well. And go on next step. And there we go, there's my database created. So I'm going to jump back over to this and you can see five files of filter transfer. So we're going to reset and requeue these. Now we're going to process them. And there you go, that's the, all the files across. So let's jump back across here again. We'll go back to home. So now we're going to jump into PHP My Admin. Go jump here. 
that's not a terrible sound because we've got it in board. And this is the from before when you backed your database up. If you don't know how to do that, just check my other videos. Choose file. And we're going to move, I believe it's called. And there's my old database. So I'm gonna go and upload that. And what I was doing, we're just gonna cancel that off that and shut that down because I don't need that now. Just quickly pause the video while this goes up because it may take a little while. So, as you can see with PHP my admin, the database is now uploaded. So that's great. So there's one or two things left to do. So let's just leave that there for the time being. I'm going to duplicate this. There we go. And I'm going to put this into MySQL databases. I'll show you why I've done that shortly. And then I'm going to come down come back up here again and I'm going to go to file manager I'm going to go into public html just to make sure everything uploaded correct and then I'm going to jump into sites and then I'm going to jump into default and I'm going to alter this file here which is settings.php right there before we do that Change the permissions to write right. Then we're going to edit that. Going to jump all the way down at the bottom here. And because you've already had this file, it's already set everything up. There we go. So you're going to put your database information from, not that one, not that one, not that one, <laughs> from here with your password. And you're now going to put that into here. So I'm going to quickly pause the video again. So I've edited that file and saved it and now there's really one last thing to do that's to jump into the site itself and there you go everything's all working it's uh, worth logging in clearing the cache etc if you have the cache you know set up so just so it gets used to the new site and you also want to take aggregate CSS or JavaScript off and clear that as well and run Chrome just so it gets used to the new site. So that was a video showing you how to move a site when you're on the same host from one account to another. So I hope the video has been useful to you and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you, thank you so much for watching.